If I ever have children, I'm going to let them grow up like weeds in our garden. No one takes care of them, but they thrive. While the roses and their snakes bloom worse and worse each summer. Oh, when I have children, I am going to dress them all in pink. <laughs> pink hats. Pink dresses. Pink shoes. Everything except the socks. The socks will be black as night. And when I take them out for a walk, I'll let them parade along in front of me in a line like little baby ducks. What about you, Angela? How can you be sure we'll ever have children? Why shouldn't we have them? Aunt Euphema certainly doesn't have any. Silly goose, because she isn't married. My Aunt Bower was married three times, and she never had a single one. My love, if you ever have children, would you rather have boys or girls? Boys. Oh, I want boys too. Me too. I'd rather have twenty boys than three girls. Girls are so boring. If it were up to me, I'd rather be a boy. I think that's a matter of opinion, Martha. Every day I thank my lucky stars that I'm a girl. Honest, I wouldn't even change places with a prince. But still, I only want to have boys. That's just ridiculous, Wangla. Thea, it must be a thousand times nobler to be loved by a man than by a girl. Are you trying to tell me that Melinda's Young forest ranger Fall loves her more than she loves him. That's exactly what I'm saying, Thea. Fall is proud. Proud to be a forest ranger. That's all he's got. But Melita is filled with joy because she's got 10,000 times more than she's worth. Are you proud of yourself, Wendla? That would be stupid. I would be so proud if I were in your shoes. Just look at the way she walks. The way she looks, the way she carries herself. If that isn't pride, what is it? Why should I feel proud? I'm so happy to be a girl. If I wasn't a girl, I'd kill myself so that the next time around... He has a wonderful profile. <laughs> that is just how I imagine Alexander the point you walked to his lesson with Aristotle. Oh, no! Great history! The only thing I remember is how Socrates was lying in a barrel when Alexander sold him a donkey shadow. He's supposed to be the third best in his class. Professor Bonebreaker said he could be first if he wanted to. He does have a beautiful brow, but his friend has more soulful eyes. Moritz Stiefel? That lousy good for nothing? <laughs> well, I've always found him so easy to talk to. No matter where you are, he always embarrasses. Ride Lowe's party, he offered me pralines. <laughs> Just think of it, Wendla. They're all warm and gooey. Snuck into the teacher's room. The teacher's room? The teacher's room! Oh. <laughs>